Hey everybody at YouTube, how you doing today? My name is Jed Johnson. I have a website at dieselcrew.com. And let me tell you what I'm going to tell you about today, just in case this is the first time that you've seen my channel. I organize the sport of grip strength in the United States, all of North America really. And the national championship for grip sport in North America is on July 16th. So for last week, this week and the next two weeks, we're having wild card qualifiers for nationals as part of something I've done all year in 2011 called the Weekly Grip Strength Challenge. So at dieselcrew.com each week I put up a grip challenge, which could be some kind of feat or some sort of endurance that would be shown uh, using the grip strength. So grip is really everything from the elbow out to the fingers. All of that in between involves your grip strength. And you have to be strong from the elbow down in order to have a truly strong grip. Now when you have a strong grip, that is also going to help you out in all of your other sporting endeavors and your other lifting, as well as help keep you injury free. So what I've done this year is try to get more people involved in just grip training in general, as well as to increase the interest in grip strength competitions. So each week I get about five to ten submissions generally for the Grip Strength Challenge. And last week and this week and the next two weeks are qualifiers for the national championship. So this is like an unprecedented opportunity for people that they can qualify for nationals because the qualifications are fairly high. You really have to do, you have to have a, a well-rounded grip in competition in order to qualify. Now, last week we did the two hands pinch using plates. The two hands pinch is uh, a lift that is very, very common in grip strength competitions. What we're going to do today is another very common lift in grip sport competition, which uh, will be grippers. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. At nationals this year, we have to take a 20 millimeter block and put it between the handles prior to closing the gripper. So what I'm talking about there, this is a Vulcan gripper. And this is cool because you can adjust up and down to many, many different strength levels. At nationals, we're going to use uh, torsion spring grippers, which are probably what you're more used to seeing from uh, the Captains of Crush from Iron Mind and also the Beef Builder grippers from uh, Warren Tedding and many other gripper styles and will, will be used. However, for this demo, I'm going to use the Vulcan gripper just because um, I'm not warmed up fully, so I don't, I do, I've got it nice and at a low setting. Okay, so for demonstration purposes, this is what we're going to do at Nationals. We're going to take, we're going to put the gripper in position, and then we're going to swipe it with a 20 millimeter block, and then close it down. So, in order to replicate that test of crushing strength for this challenge this week, instead of using a 20 millimeter block, because most people aren't going to have a 20 millimeter block sitting around, we're just going to use a deck of cards. Okay, so this is an unopened deck of cards. It's an ace brand. You know, it's, it's mid-range difficulty. Um, any unopened deck of cards will do. Make sure it's got the plastic on there. All right, so it's not a big investment, just $1.50 or $2 for a deck of cards, and then you can just rip them up later anyway. So this is what we're looking for. You have to show what the gripper is. Show the handles, show the markings on the gripper to show exactly what it is. You have to show both handles. You can't just show a beef builder gripper that has a, an E on there and call it an elite because it might be some other, you know, some other gripper. So show the handles of the gripper. You can take the set down as far as you want to, but then you have to open it up wide enough. Okay, so you can set it there. You have to open it up wide enough that you can pass the deck of cards through the bottom of the handles and then close it. And then make sure that you get the close on film. Okay? This is a great opportunity to qualify for nationals, but if there's something wrong with your video submission, I'm going to let you know about it. If I can't tell what the gripper is, or if I can't tell that the gripper is closed, I'm not going to let it go. Okay? So, that is what we're looking for. 
roughly 20 millimeter set black set gripper close on film and this is how we're going to score them. I'm going to turn the camera around, get out my marker, show you what we're looking for for the target grippers used in this week's challenge. Let's look at that. Okay guys, now grippers do vary and sometimes certain grippers will be harder or easier than other grippers but I've got the grippers listed here in the way that they normally fall and how they have fallen in general in my gripper collection. So uh, it's hard to dispute that guide, sport, trainer are going to be your lowest three grippers. Uh, number one, 1 1.5. Then we're going to put in the Beef Builder Master, the BBM, followed by number two, number 2.5. Then we're going to throw in two more Beef Builders, uh, the Beef Builder Supermaster, Beef Builder Grandmaster. Next we have a number three gripper from Iron Mind. Um, we'll throw in the Beef Builder Elite next. We'll go to the number 3.5 from Iron Mind. We'll go Super Elite, Beef Builder SE, and number four gripper. So that is what we're looking at for this week. Again, it's the gripper close using the deck of cards and what that's there for is you set the gripper so that the smaller handed individuals have more of a fair um, standing and then also you use the deck of cards in order to make sure that the set is the same for just about everybody. Now yes, gripper uh, decks of cards will vary. Grippers will vary. When we're doing an online contest like this, it's just something you have to deal with. So shoot for your highest gripper, and if there's ties, then we'll figure we'll figure that out. Okay. So um, I'll tell you what we'll do. Whoever has the smaller hand, if you get tied, whoever has the smaller hand, you'll have to measure your hand, and that will get you in. Okay. So if we have multiple multiple people closing the 2.5, whoever has the smaller hand from crease of wrist to Middle fingertip, we'll get in. Boom. That's how we're going to do it. All right. All the best for your training. Now, listen. Get warmed up. Take your time. There's no need to rush through these feats. Okay? If you have 10 minutes, take 10 minutes. You can always stop the camera and edit the video or send me your multiple takes. You don't need to have everything boom, 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 um, all smacked together. All right? I want you to perform at a high level. So take your time, warm up, and give your best attempt. I wish you luck. I hope you get to qualify. All the best in your training. Have a great week. We'll see you.